Hello everyone, today we're back with another episode of My Strange Obsession, and today we're gonna look at a guy who's absolutely obsessed with taxidermy. Let's hit it. All right, creepy Joe animals. Joe Fonda and Tanner Smith have traveled the world with one goal in mind. You know, actually, really fun fact right here, Tanners used to be the guys that would take like the leather from the animals and they would turn it into like leather that we use like for clothing or for tables or for stuff like that. So it's really ironic that the guy with the last name Tanner is still doing it 200 years later. Good job staying true to your ancestors. Remember, respect your elders. To fulfill their complete and utter obsession with taxidermy. True reason for taxidermy, I believe, is making the life of the animal continue on. You're basically bringing them back to life almost like a mortician would to a person. I don't really know if this counts as bringing them back to life seeing as you're stuffing them like a god darn turkey. To me, now this animal can never die. Yo, this Fonda chick just gives me the creeps. Like, pause this video right here. Dude, the way she's just looking, she looks like she just hexed you and like cursed you. Like, she's about to turn you into a frog and put her in her collection. <laughs> <laughs> it's beauty's here now forever and for more than just for us to enjoy. It's a way that you can honor that animal in a way that most people wouldn't even recognize. I couldn't imagine life without tax Hall. Well, I'm sure there's people out there that think that what we do is morbid, but they're still the same people that would kill a mouse in their house or kill a, a roach in their house. Hey, look, now they're <laughs> they're going after they're going after everybody in this clip. Hey, you trapping mice in your house? You're making a mean roast? What's next? They're gonna go after the freaking non-vegetarian people too, I bet. Watch this. Or cook a roast for dinner. Cook a roast Just for dinner. Just because it came from the grocery store doesn't oh mean God. it was never living. Called it. Just because it came from the grocery store doesn't mean it wasn't living. All right, you guys are officially certifiably on every single person who's watching this blacklist. Good job. The Smiths have spent upwards of $400,000 on their taxidermy collection. You know what's actually criminal? That in order to get away with doing this to that many animals, it only costs them $400,000. Like, look at all these beautiful animals on the wall that should have been just left in nature, left to gallop, left to do whatever the heck the animals do when they're free and happy and bambying all over the place. But no, here comes this family who's like, hey, hey, we're gonna make a puppet out of you. Freaking creepy. They have personally stuffed, mounted, and displayed 213 animals throughout their home from one of Tanner's first mounts. The smallest thing I ever mounted was a mouse when I was eight years old, and that's how my texture me really started. They got him started at eight years old. Hey, they were just roasting people who trapped mice in their house, and here they have their own kid like, hey man, you should go catch that. You should go get the mouse and then taxidermy it. We're gonna show you how. Dude, I swear, this family is giving me the absolute heebie-jeebies. Like, I feel freaking goosebumps. They're going out of their way to harm animals. That's not cool. Let's keep going. To the family's proudest trophy. My big horn sheep here. I shot him in Wyoming about 10 years ago. Very hard to get a license for. He needed a license, so these guys are going out of their way to get a license in order to collect the animals, in order to taxidermy them. Okay, are we getting how messed up this is? Not to mention that this is like the most satanic looking goat I've ever seen in my life. Every little niche in this house is filled with something taxidermy related. We have a line in the dining room drying. We have animals on living room drawing. Look at all the tools that they have hanging there. This looks like the scene from Saw or like one of these horror movies. He's like about to pull out a chainsaw and just hack the camera crew in half. Jeez. People who come and meet us think it's pretty bizarre, but um... Yeah, if I was staying at your crib and meeting you, I'd also think it was pretty bizarre. Imagine waking up there, you go down the hallway, you know, open the room. There's probably stuff in your room, who am I kidding? But let's say there wasn't. You go out the hall, you're trying to find the bathroom. On your way there, there's just a lion just like staring at you. And dude, it's like dark, you know? You don't know if it's like a real cougar or like what 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 is hiding there. Maybe Fonda's a cougar, who knows? Let's keep going. You know, it's what we do and what we love is that we can do it together and uh, we all, play an important role. I really feel like this is the absolute pinnacle of like family cult mentality. I may have accidentally said the wrong C word in a previous take. That's why I did a little cut there. But guys, if you also think that this family is absolutely insane and you have any other really cool, interesting, funny videos or strange stuff that you want me to react to, please go ahead and hit me up. I'm trying to pump these out as much as I can. And remember, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Bye, catch the next one.